Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you guys have been following my journey for a while, you might notice a drastic improvement in the video quality and that is because your girl finally got herself a DSLR camera and a good quality microphone. I might do a bit of a minimalist like YouTube gear video, we'll see. But essentially I finally took the plunge and I got better quality material. I've been filming on my iPhone XR this whole time or iPhone XR this whole time. The only reason I'm even sharing that is because I believe that to start you should just start you don't need all of this good cool equipment um to begin obviously it helps when you're further on and i've decided that at 3,000 subscribers which thank you so much for that by the way but at 3,000 subscribers i decided to upgrade my materials so here we are hopefully my background is blurry and you cannot see um in good quality the dishes that i need to wash and the sheet that is dry <laughs> i air dry my sheets um and i hang them up from the first floor loft area but yeah for today's video, I'm actually going to be bringing you guys along to our little getaway. Uh, my boyfriend and I decided to take a weekend away this weekend so that we can completely unplug and disconnect from the internet. We're not bringing any technology, we're just bringing this camera and our phones for emergencies and our puppy Benji, obviously. We got this little tent. Um, it's a bit like of a mixture between a tiny house and a tent. You guys will see. You probably already saw in the intro. And we wanted to just take 24 hours to be in nature and not do any work. I work a lot. I'm a freelancer, so I bring my work with me everywhere I go. And so we wanted to just read a book, hang out in a hammock, bring our puppy with us. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. And let's get started. All right, so for our little adventure, we're only taking this uh, little Quechua bag. The first thing that we're packing for our little adventure is books. We're going to disconnect, like I said, so we wanted to have something to read. So the next thing I'm bringing is finished teal, like rashes and bug bites and stuff. I feel like that's just something that's good to bring if you're going camping. Obviously going to bring a phone charger. Yeah, this and the camera charger. We have these little packing bags that we use for shorter trips. They're super small. They're actually supposed to be a shoe bags um but we use them to pack an outfit for tomorrow and long sleeves in case it's cold because it is starting to get chillier during the nights if any of you are wondering yes this method kind of does wrinkle up your clothes a little bit but then again we're going camping so <laughs> it's okay we really love these hollister long sleeve shirts so we actually have some that we share between us they're not just my boyfriends or mine they're just an l so they're really baggy on me in fact i actually don't sleep in like pajamas or anything i just wear like oversized shirts and like guy boxers <laughs> they're just so comfy i just have like these little black, honestly, they look like booty shorts. They just fit me like booty shorts, but that's how I like to sleep in. In case you were wondering, which I know you weren't. <coughs> I promise it's just allergies. I feel like you have to make that disclaimer nowadays, but I promise it's just allergies. And then my bandana, if you guys aren't able to tell, I love bandanas. Um, they keep my hair out of my face and they look cute. <laughs> so that's a fair argument. The other thing we're bringing is baby wipes. I feel like with camping, you can never go wrong with baby wipes just so like you can clean your feet before you get into bed. And instead of bringing like two beach towels, we're just going to be bringing one. And what I like to do is I like to attach it to the bottom of this. It's a huge towel, so it, it works for two people. This is one of the many reasons I love this bag is that it has all these straps that you can use to strap things in because that's what straps are made for. That's the main stuff. I don't want to bore you guys with my packing process as well. Just answer some work emails so that I don't do it while I am there. But yeah, I am excited. Who I call myself today In this world of illusions Didn't dare to sing my name That was when you came along And I Life can be unfair I 
just couldn't handle it. Still smell the bitter taste of misery and unfaith. I just need to love you like I do. Cause I don't know where I would be or where I'll go. How did you sleep? Did you sleep well? Yeah? I, on the other hand, didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, some people moved in at like 1 in the morning um, next to our tent. And someone was walking around like the whole night. But see, you can still hear it. So I don't think anyone was actually walking around. I don't think so. You so there's like a plant. Pebbles, but... There's a plant that makes it sound like people are... People are walking around. No, they see, are, but it's, it's not... so realistic. <laughs> And at one point, I thought that someone had come into the tent because I saw like this bump um, near the door. So, so I woke him up and turns out it was his feet. <laughs> I slept okay, but for like the last five hours. But the first five hours, I genuinely thought we were going to get murdered. So. <laughs> mm. Benji actually did so good. We thought he was gonna bark. He only barked when like the people moved in, which makes sense because there was literally like people shining their flashlight at our um, tents. But he slept with us. He didn't sleep in his crate because he was being so freaking cute. We just kept him here. He was doing a protect. Yeah, he was protecting us. If you Your arms have carried me for miles Here's where I belong Where I belong Here's where I belong